Ashley Samantha yet again and I'm coming to you with another video to review the box of crayons palette I'm so excited to show you guys how I did this look and what I think about this palette do I have pros do I have cons I guess you'll have to find out by watching this video but before you do make sure you thumbs this video up subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell to get notified because I'm constantly posting videos, so like why wouldn't you want to subscribe and turn the notification bell on? Like I literally have a video coming the day after this day. So like just do it, you know? You just gotta do it. Nike, Nike it. Alright, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay y'all, I am so excited, like so excited. This came from the crayon case. Let me hide my address. I'm so excited and I love that they had the fragile sticker on there because it actually shows you know, that they care for our items. But I'm so excited to try this out. As soon as I figure out, oh, can I figure out how I open it? All right, and the dogs are quiet because I gave them bones to chew on. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Oh my gosh, y'all. So when you open it, it looks like this and says the crayon case and then like their little website and then it has like the black tissue paper in there. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so they have this thank you card and then it's, they're asking you to subscribe to the website and then they have, um, it's finally okay to color outside the line so I think that that's so cute. Ah! I think that's so cute and then they have like their social media handles and then like um, a girl on it with makeup which her makeup is Slade baby Slade so I got the pencil brushes um, real wood number two pencil seven count units and um, it says pencil in your shadow shadow blending pencils so, and it's cruelty free, which I love, because y'all know, I got puppies. I got these puppies. So when I open it, it looks like this. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, I need to like make my own little thing for them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. First, let's, you know, put this hair back and put this headband on, because, uh, we're gonna play in some crayon today. So when you open them out, I wonder if it says the kind of brushes on them. That would be cute if it did. It doesn't, it just says um, the brand. Okay, so let's talk about these brushes. Um, first off, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a little like long piece of hair. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I need to like, I'm just gonna tweeze it out. I think that's the best bet for me. See, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me put it against my brown skin. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a little, like, long piece in there, but that's okay. Oh, and their brushes feel so good. And I like it because it's kind of like the thickness of a pencil. I mean, I don't know if that's going to do anything, but maybe it'll help out, you know, when I apply my makeup. I love these brushes. The only con is that I wish that it said what kind of brush it was or had like a brush number on there. But I guess like it doesn't matter because if you buy these brushes, you have to buy the set. You can't just like buy it individually. But if they ever did decide to, um, oh, this is gonna be super good for the lid. Um, if they ever decided to um, sell them individually, then I feel like they need to name the brushes. Oh, they're all such like really good brushes. I'm so happy. And then it just has like my subtotal, which the pencil brush set was $18. And then the good stuff, the palette, the box of crayons palette was 30 bucks, which is actually super affordable, especially when you get such a big palette. Like you guys can't even see my head and my head is huge. So that says a lot. It says a lot. So then when you open it, I love that they really protected the items because there's nothing worse than getting a makeup palette in the mail that you've been waiting for and dying for and then some of the shadows are like dusty. Okay? I'm just gonna 
throw that right there. But this is baby okay? They have allergies, guys. I'm sorry. But this is the box of crayons eyeshadow palette, and it has like eye like apple. And it's it says the ingredients on the back. It's cruelty free, which I love again. And then it just says like the website and everything. I love this so much already. And honestly, I don't even remember what the colors look like. Oh, even more protection. Can we get an amen? Let's, let's get an amen for that. Okay, so, the big reveal. Oh, snap. <laughs> Not the big reveal. Let's take this out first. <laughs> now, the big reveal. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful! Okay, so first, let's swatch some colors. I'm gonna swatch the yellow because, you know, yellow sometimes it just, do oh. <laughs> Never mind, I take that back, but usually yellows are not pigmented whatsoever. But look at this. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do the pink because, you know, if you saw my eyeshadow collection, you know that some pinks just don't cut it. But this pink, it cuts it. Like, this is so crazy. And then lime green, let's see. It's kind of chalky, the lime green one. But it, it's still nice. I don't know if you guys can see. And I'll swatch another one. I'll do the green. Actually, I'm gonna swatch the red too. Oh, that's nice. Let me swatch the red. All of the colors are so pigmented, it's crazy. I don't even know what look I'm about to do right now. I don't know, so let me prep my eyes and we'll see what I end up doing. I think I'm going to do like a purple look. So I'm gonna take this brush and use the color tan. And let me use the mirror. I'm gonna use the color tan in my transitioning area. Or should I use the color brown? I don't know, I'm gonna use tan. The brush is so thick. That's perfect. And then the same thing on the other side. Actually, let me ask Troy what color I should do. Troy! Come here. Pick a color, a bright color. Bright color? Um. Gold. Are you on the phone? No. Gold. Is that bright? Um. Yellow. Okay. You're boring. Guess we'll go with yellow. Such a boring choice. So I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. I don't know different brushes, so whatever. But I'm gonna pick it up and it, it picks up nicely. And I'm gonna put it on the outside. He's watching our show right now without me. Isn't that crazy? Y'all, this is boring. This is a boring color. Because there's like no shimmer in it whatsoever. I'm gonna just take the color violet and go in with that. brush kind of like like I know that I get like little crow's feet when I close my eyes but no brush has ever done that for me then I'm gonna take the color white Let's see how it, how it shows up oh well that's pretty that's really pretty.
Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and put my makeup on and we'll talk. So, this is the final look, which is super cute to me. Like, who would have known purple would have been so cute? So, I did like an ombre with the purple and the white, so I'm pretty, pretty excited. So, let's talk about this palette. Oh my gosh. I swear they never let me film. Never. In silence. But, um, I love that the, the palette is so big. It's like literally so huge. I love all of the colors in here, but one thing that I did notice was that, um, you have to wet up your brush for it to even be close to pigmented, point blank period. If you're trying to do like a look like this or do like a crazy look on the lid, you have to wet up your brush, period. It doesn't like come out as you swatch it on the brushes, at least the brushes that they um, provide. So maybe try out your own brushes, maybe not try their brushes, but for the most part, their brushes are good, they're great density, they feel great, they're cruelty free. But it it's either the palette or the brushes. I'm not sure, but you have to wet up your brush for it to be somewhat pigmented. Um, and that's really the only con. I love everything else about this palette, and I definitely would use this palette multiple times. Would I recommend this? Yes, if you're doing bold looks and you are okay with wetting up your brushes. If you're not, then no, I would not recommend it. But it's a really great palette. I love it. Just wet up your brushes. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe down below and thumbs this video up. And I have another review coming soon. And it's from ColourPop. I'm trying to hide my information. But it is from ColourPop. And I'm so excited to do this review for you guys. So that will be the next video after this one. So be on the lookout for that. And thank you guys so much for supporting me and for watching my video.